Hey everybody, Ricky McLean here with Woodworks. Back for another Two Minute Tuesday. Wanted to discuss today some key design decisions that you can make early on in a mass timber project that have a big influence on the efficiency of that project. So I'm gonna go through this in five steps. The first important design decision, I think, is looking at construction types. Now, I, thought, I know in a lot of cases, projects will assume a project has to be a specific construction type just based on the materials that are used in that project. With mass timber, things are a little different. We're really looking at type three construction, type four construction, or type five construction, and there are subcategories of all of those. So it's important to really dial in on the specific construction type that you're looking at for a project early on. And number two, this really is a follow on or a cause and effect of a construction type, and that's the fire ratings. So for example, if we're looking at construction types 3B, 4, and 5A as options, there are some very significant differences in what we need for fire ratings within those. 3B structure really has zero hourly fire ratings for most interior structural elements. Type 4 construction, you don't have to show a specific fire resistance rating, but you do have to meet minimum heavy or mass timber sizes of each of the structural elements. And then type 5A construction, you're providing a one hour fire resistance rating for all of your interior structural elements. Then number three, again, is really a follow on of what the construction type and fire ratings are, and that's the span of the members. And for this, I'm specifically talking about the panels. If you're using a CLT or a DLT or NLT or GLT4 panel, for example, there's a significant difference in what the thickness of that can be as a function of the fire ratings. So for example, if you're looking at a 5A structure and you know it has to provide a one hour fire resistance rating. Well, right off the bat, you know, it's, it's probably not likely you're going to use something thinner than a five ply. Potentially you can use a three ply uh, for CLT, for example, but the spans are gonna be very limited under a one hour fire resistance rating. So if you know you're going to one hour rating, perhaps you know then you're gonna to go to a five ply four panel. And from there, that starts to tell you, inform you pretty quickly, what are the span ranges of a five ply panel? You might be looking in the 14 to 17 foot range, uh, roughly speaking. On the other end of the scale, if you're looking at a 3B construction, now you don't have to provide a fire resistance rating. So it might make more sense to use something like a three ply. And then number four, of course, following on what the span ranges are of the panels you're using, we start to look now at the actual grid dimensions. How far apart are the columns? How far apart are the beams? Are you using sub curlings or not? Um, you can still get, for example, say a 30 by 30 column grid in either a three ply or a five ply scenario, but you're gonna be probably varying the spacing of the purlins within that 30 by 30 grid dimension. So knowing your fire ratings influences your spans, knowing your spans influences how you lay out your grid. And number five, once you know what those grid dimensions are going to be, I think that it's very important early on to start thinking about your mechanical systems, how you're going to route your ductwork, how you're gonna route your electrical conduit, where the sprinkler lines are gonna go. I think that's all important because as you think about how your mechanical systems are being routed throughout your structure, you also need to think about are those items penetrating fire resistance rated members or not. So all things that need to be thought of as you start looking early on at laying out a mass timber building, thinking about again, construction types, fire ratings, span, grid, and mechanical systems. All right, well, that's it for today's Two Minute Tuesday. I hope you enjoyed this and found it beneficial. Until next time, we'll see you later.